Hello guys, in this video, let's find slow performing APIs or functions using App Insights. So, we have a function app deployed in Azure portal and for that App Insights is configured. It has two functions that is function 1 and function 2. Function 1 takes 5 seconds to execute. Function 2 takes less, less than a second to execute. Basically, we will add a 5 seconds delay in function 1. Then we will run function 1 and function 2 a few times and then let's understand how we can find this slow function or API in app insights. So guys, we are in Azure portal and this is our function app that is function app demo for app insights. Let's open it. So we are under overview and if you go down, we can see this function 1 and function 2. And now let's make a change in function 1 such that function 1 will take 5 seconds to execute. Basically, we will add a delay of 5 seconds. So let's go to the Visual Studio and you can see we have this function1.cs and under that we have two functions that is function1 and function2 and now let's add a delay in this function1. So here I will simply say await task.delay and delay of 5 seconds and now let's deploy this function app to the Azure portal. So right click publish and let's say publish and you can see publish succeeded and now let's run function 1 and function 2 a few times so for that let's go to the azure portal and let's get those function urls so let's open function 1 let's get function url so let's copy it so basically we are just finding the url to run this function so similarly we have to get url for function 2 as well and in the interest of the time i have already copied those So first one is the URL for function 1 and second one is for function 2. So let me run function 1 a few times. So I have copied the URL. Let me open a new browser. Let me paste and let me run. And you can see it's taking a bit of time because we have 5 seconds of delay and it's been successful. Let's run again. And in this way, let's run this function 1 a few times. Okay, so I have run function 1 a few times. Similarly, let's run function 2 as well. So this is the URL for function 2 and let me open new browser again. And yeah, you can see function 2 execution is fast. So let's again run a few times. Okay, so now let's go to the Azure portal. Let's open app insights and let's study how we can find this low performing APIs or functions. So again, let me go to the, let me open app insights, test app insights. So this is the application insights, which is linked or which is configured with our function app. And let's click on this performance. And here you can see function one and function two. Okay. So you can see for function one, it took 2.87 seconds on an average. So guys, uh, we had a history of function 1 execution earlier as well and at that time it was fast hence the duration or average is less than 5 seconds but still you can see function 1 is taking 2.87 seconds that means it's almost 3 seconds but whereas this function 2 is taking hardly 2.56 milliseconds only and we can see the count as well and in this way whenever whenever we want to fix performance issues our target should be we should find such apis or functions okay for which count that is number of execution is high and this duration that is average is also high 